And this is how we're gonna go see Tavira. <laughs> so you getting in? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a bumpy train ride. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It's deadly. <laughs> and we're now on the famous bridge here. Yes, that's right. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, so we just got on the boat. This is a cool spot. It's like a resort. It is like, like a, a resort. Yeah. So we are just after stumbling across this little marker here. Thank you. Love the <laughs> Boring. <laughs> That's how close we are to the Spanish border. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I hope that you're all keeping well. So over the last couple of weeks we've been getting a lot of DMs and comments recommending a place that we should go and visit. It's supposed to be the most charming town in the Algarve and we're heading there today. It's just past Faro and it's a place called Tibera. Okay, yeah, so as Samantha was saying, we are spending the day here in Tavira. Uh, we drove about an hour east of the Algarve uh, on the A22 on the motorway. Uh, I think if, that, if that's with tolls, so I think if you want to do it without tolls, it takes about an hour and a half. But yeah, so um, yeah, as we said, we're in Tavira now. It's supposed to have a rich history. We don't really know too much about it. We were doing a little bit of research on the drive here. Um, we know that the Algarve has had several rulers. It's got the Arabs. We're here for about four or 500 years. Uh, the Romans were also here. There's a Roman bridge in Tavira that we want to go see as well and obviously then the Portuguese so it's supposed to have like a nice mix of culture and yeah as we said a, a rich history so we're excited to uh, to check that out this place has been recommended to us um, by a lot of people especially on our YouTube videos they leave comments and say guys go check out the beard so we are here now so we are excited to see just what it's all about And yeah, as we were saying, we did head east. And if you drive on the A22 towards the Beard, you'll actually see signs for Spain. It's about 30 kilometers uh, further east after Tavira. So that's how close we are to the Spanish border. Okay, and this is how we're gonna go see Tavira. <laughs> So 10 euro, 5 euro each. Okay, cool. Change it around the whole city. Sweet. Take the back one, yeah, why not? Ready? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> so we have decided to take a train ride, and um, 5 euro each, and no better way to explore the sea. Okay, so yes, we are just off the train right now. First thing that we kind of noticed, big huge river running right through the town. Also, hell of a lot of churches here. We just Googled it as well, and there's over 30 churches in this in this town, which is a lot for just one place. Um, so you won't go hungry here either. There seems to be just a lot of restaurants and kind of places to eat and some bars, and they're all kind of scattered around the town. There's also a, a main square as well that we sort of drove through that uh, seems to have, I suppose, it's the, it's the main hub of the, of the city. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are sort of chilling out there having a few drinks having something to eat uh, but for now i think we're just going to go on foot around the rest of the Tavira. 
Okay, so as Keelan was just saying there, um, there is a river that runs right up through the town. And we're now on the famous bridge here. And he did also say that the Romans ruled here at one point back in the day. So yeah, this is the Roman bridge. And this is the bridge that attracts basically a lot of tourists. Um, so yeah, it's cobblestones right up along it. And also we've noticed there is some locks up along the bridge as well. So it must be tradition for people to come and put the locks on the bridge. Okay, yeah, so just getting some more information on the bridge. It just says the old bridge. That's the name of it over the river. Galeo, so Galeo, River Galeo, yeah. And it says it actually was originally built in the 13th century but was destroyed and then rebuilt again in 1655. So the bridge is old. <laughs> We are just after stumbling across this little marker here. So we're gonna sure. go and check it out. Yeah, let's do it. It's all like little crafts and stuff, homemade kind of things, look. Mm. Little kind of homemade gifties. What do we got here? Bit of knitting. Little designs. They seem to be all handmade. Stuff. Yeah, it is, yeah. Authentic stuff, huh? I tell you what, it's arranged very well with all these arrows and isn't it? We're coming into the food part. The now, food section the now, yeah. Like jellies or something, is it? No, no, chocolate. They're chocolate, are they? Chocolate, yeah. Little sweet. Oh, look what they have. The orange cake. The orange cake. Oh, you should get it. You should get it. We came across this in Monchique. Okay, so I think we found our, our new favourite dessert. That cake is unreal. The cake did not last long at all. Devoured. Three bites. <laughs> Three bites and it was gone, so. Ah, uh, you should get it. One euro twenty. Ah, yeah. uh, you'd have it's to. It's actually pineapple. There's the orange one there. Ah, uh, yeah, you'd have to. Will I get it? Yeah, yeah. Will I just get, will I get two? Yeah. Um, can we get two of the orange cakes? One, two, three, four. Finally, the sun is starting to break through the clouds. The day actually started off very doomy and gloomy, but it is turning into a lovely day. Um, Keelan was saying earlier on that there is about 30 churches here in Tavira. So um, our plan now is to go and try check out some of them. Okay, so it must be a Saturday thing. All the uh, the churches are closed. Tiny little church. I know, yeah. Is it open? No, it's closed. Closed. Shit. We've been to about three or four of them there and they're all closed, so it must be a Saturday thing. However, there is a castle in Tavira as well that we think is open, so we're gonna go and check that out. But um, as Mandy was just actually saying about all the churches being, uh, I suppose, white or whitewashed Algarvian churches is kind of the description for them. Uh, we actually found out on a safari tour that we did that the reason a lot of the buildings in the Algarve are white is actually to do with, um, to do with the heat. They, uh, they kind of bounce the heat away from the house so it doesn't get uh, too warm. So that's that's the reason why. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because black attracts the sun and then obviously if the buildings are white, uh, they just keep the, the, the houses and the churches or whatever building it is uh, nice and cool. So that's the, uh, that's the reason behind them all being white. <laughs> so we've arrived at the castle and it's open. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so to be the castle and walls national monument 10th to the 11th century, also the 13th and 16th century. So basically what it means is the castle was built originally in the 10th, uh, between the 10th and 11th century, and then work had uh, taken place sporadically over time. Uh, eventually in 1938, uh, the Council of Tavira basically purchased it and have just basically made it open to the public. So I think there's some gardens and stuff in it as well, and like some original kind of walls from, from back in the day. So. Uh, the best part about it is it's open. <laughs> so we're gonna go in. <laughs> Oh 
look at that as soon as you walk through the gates. Gorgeous garden. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Look at that. God, that's really pretty. Oh, it's lovely. All the colourful flowers. Well. Loads of lovely flower beds. All different coloured flowers. All the different types of trees as well. They've got, uh, it's gorgeous. Little, they've got names on each of them as well. It's, lovely, isn't it? just to walk around it's really nice just to walk around in, yeah. Is that like a little tower you can get up and look yeah, over the top? Stairs up there you yeah. can little... What's the view like? Nice. It is. It's nice. You can actually kind of see how big Tavira actually is because like we were saying there's a river that runs right through but the town is on both sides of it so it's, it's actually quite Large, it think. is quite a large yeah, town, think. isn't it? Yeah, I didn't think the beer was going to be as big as this. Actually, do you know what? If you watched that video in Faro, we went off to an island called Isla Deserte, which I don't think is too far from here. I think this kind of region of the Algarve, the kind of eastern part of the Algarve, uh, a lot of the beaches are kind of like islands. If they're you know. all they're separate. The you have to get yeah. boats over to them. Yeah, yeah very have, like Faro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think as well, I'm not too sure. I think I've seen it in a, in a, a video of Tavira um, or Faro, I can't remember, but there's like a there's this island that you can get a boat out to and it's like a little sandbar. It just sits right in the middle of the of the, the, the water. Yeah, it looks it's really cool, really doesn't nice. it? Yeah, yeah. I actually think we could uh, we should get the, the boat out to that. It's only two euros or something. Yeah, the boat trips out to the to the um deserted beaches, I suppose. The ones that are away from the land are very cheap, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so done with the castle. Very nice to walk around, nice little gardens. We also walked up the steps to this area which is uh, which gives you a good view around Tiberia but now it's time to move on. So we're after booking a boat trip to take us over to one of the islands and the boat leaves in 45 minutes so we have finally stopped off for something to eat in a donor kebab and pizza place. Okay so the food has arrived. I've gone for a really nice looking vegetarian pizza. Yeah, looks amazing. Really nice, yeah it looks doesn't gorgeous it? doesn't it? And you've gone for the donor kebab. The donor kebab. God, it looks big. It does. <laughs> I don't know about finishing. <laughs> and uh, there's chips as well to come with it, so it's a feast. Mm. Okay, dinner stuffed after that. 16 euros is all that came to. Medium pizza, donor kebab, um, some chips, and two cokes. 16 quid is pretty cheap, isn't it? Yeah, really, so, really cheap. Um, so yeah, now that uh, we've had our dinner, we're on our way up to uh, do a boat trip out to one of the islands. She's fairly full bow. <laughs> I know. I think they run. They seem to run on the hour anyway. So every hour. Every hour, yeah. Okay. I'm not too sure what what way it works on the way back, so we'll yeah. have to figure that out when we're on it. Yeah, we get stuck on the island. Okay, thank you. <laughs> leaves in about five or six minutes as you can see we're now actually on the river that runs through to Verde and I'm not too sure how long it takes to get out to the island I think it's about 15 or 20 minutes but it is a bit late in the day and uh, the, today the weather wise today has been a bit funny because it started out quite you know overcast and quite I suppose cold but then it did kind of pick up a little bit in the afternoon and now it's gone back to uh, being really cloudy I'll show you there now yeah, how long does it take to get out so that's what I was saying, so it takes 20 minutes to get out and then right, okay, yeah. the tickets were really cheap as well. So return ticket for the boat was, was 220 each, so 440 in total. There and back. That's there right, and back. It? So even though it's not the best day, it still works to yeah, go and, yeah, and do yeah, and exactly, see it, yeah. I suppose. 100%. Okay, so here's like a little map of the place. Well, not a map, but it's just Things telling you, you what's on here. it. Welcome to Tibera Island. Um, Picnic area, playground, water clinic, sports, camping. camping. 
Playground picnic, yeah, recycling point. Yeah, bar, bar, restaurants. bar restaurants. Yeah, so. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like the deserted, deserted? island. No, no, it's I not. Thought, yeah, no, There's I a lot it's actually on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go so, check it out. So yeah, we're just after taking a little bit of a walk around the island and wow, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It's deadly. It's deadly. It's deadly. I think we missed a trick though because uh, we, you could spend a day here and I think on a nice day and you came here early, you could definitely spend a day here. You really, yeah. really could. There's loads no, of restaurants and bars and I really, really wasn't expecting it to be like this. I think I was comparing it to the Isle of Deserta and I shouldn't have, yeah. but I don't know why I was, but this is a cool spot. It's like a resort. It it's is like, like a resort. A, yeah. Like you can actually camp over here. There's playgrounds for kids. There was, we seen like, there's like volleyball nets. Loads of restaurants nets. and bars. Yeah, the beach um, looks pretty cool. It's, it's, it's cool. Deadly. I was going to say it's cool, and if we hadn't known that, we probably would have came over and got food here. But yeah, anyway. yeah, definitely. I think a hundred percent. I think a sunny day. We got here. If we got here early, you would spend the day here. You would spend the day here. So even though we're only here five minutes, if you are <laughs> in Tavira, come out here. It's deadly. Yeah, come out early in the day, and you would you would spend the day here. And look, 100%. I'll just turn the camera around. Like the beach is massive as well. The beach is lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So you're getting in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'd love to, but. Another day, perhaps. Yeah. The waves coming in there. Another day. Yeah. When those, look at those, look at those clouds. Yeah. It's been like that the last few days, so I don't know what's going on with the weather. The absolute cheek of Portugal to have this weather in the middle of June. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Boring. He's the driver. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. We're on the way back and the sun is starting to poke out. <laughs> you just can't call it. You just can't call it. So we had a really nice time there in Tavira. Uh, what a beautiful town. And to finish off a lovely day, we are now on the way to Keelan's sister and brother-in-law who are on their holidays over from the UK. So we're really excited to go and catch up with them. They're actually staying very near Tavira. So um, they have a villa rented on the mountain and they'd send on pictures to us. And it looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we're really excited to go and spend the evening with them. Okay, so we've arrived. It's like a bloody palace or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks really nice. It's huge. Monte Fava. Monte Fava. We're just waiting for the gates to be opened. It's really in the middle of the mountains, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look at the... The drive-in, like... Oh, yeah, look. 